Happy Saturday, everybody. Dr. Greg Postel with the severe weather risk today, which does include a large part of the middle of the U.S., all the way from the southern Missouri Valley to the Gulf Coast. I think the primary hazards are hail and high winds, which can't rule out, of course, the possibility of a tornado. We've seen some of those earlier this morning. This is the hail threat today at the medium range uh, scale, meaning for about one inch hail and bigger, there's a 15% chance of that happening within a 25 mile radius. That's a pretty substantial risk for hail all the way from, again, southern, probably Illinois to East Texas. There is likewise a risk for high winds, perhaps over 60 miles per hour, and some of the worst of all the thunderstorms from, again, southern Illinois all the way down through the Louisiana and even coastal Mississippi and Alabama. Tonight, the shift moves eastward. The threat will continue on its way, moving into the deep south and parts of the Tennessee Valley, carrying with it the risk of high winds and hail, maybe a shot of the tornado, but heavy rain is going to be a big story as well, especially across parts of the deep south, where at least three to five inches are expected through tomorrow night. Stay updated. Boone County, Indiana yesterday rated an EF1. Fortunately, no reports of injuries or deaths with this one, so we're lucky on that front. Take a look at what happened, though, in Gulfport, Mississippi. A tremendous amount of rain has led to this. Creeks completely overflowing. We've got rivers where roads should be, right? Well, let's talk about today because we do have more thunderstorms in the forecast, and this is what it looks like through the afternoon. You're going to see those thunderstorms pop up across north central Texas, stretching down into the hill country, but I really want you to watch Arkansas as we go through the evening, Friday night into Saturday morning, stretching across into Memphis by your early morning jog on a Saturday, and uh, all the way south through Louisiana, you're going to see very strong thunderstorms, and some of those could contain damaging winds. That's actually kind of a given in that situation with that bowing out. Also, some hail possible and an isolated tornado not ruled out. The Mississippi River Valley, this is where you need to be on alert for Saturday.